Hey everyone, my name's Silver and I'd like to preface, preface this video before we start in saying I have a straw poll as you can see right here on what I should play more often. So I'm going to try to keep Vanguard as one of the main things on my channel. I've shared it and so far I've gotten one vote back saying I should play Pokemon TCG online. So guys, if you want to have a say, please vote. Link in the description and right here on the screen now. See right there. So guys, I hope to see you over there, but let's get into the video. So if you guys can tell by the video, it is the Aqua Force Vanguard deck profile. Now I've been saying I was going to do this, I was supposed to do it Monday, but I don't really know Aqua Force all that well, so I had to look into the deck and figure out how to run it. And as you guys can tell, I figured out the static problem with my mic. So I figured today we'll start off by going off of G-Guards, G-Units units down to grade zero and the starter so let's start off with the G units the G guards uh, we have two copies of guard leader of the sky and water its skill is called uh, when this unit is placed on guard if it's the first or second battle of the turn this gets 5k not a bad garter it's a nice easy 20k shield added to the game and we run two of them for coverage um, next one is first or fourth wave of the turn. When this unit's placed on guard, this unit gets plus 10k shield. So it's an easy 25k. We run one of him because it's uh, turn specific. So if the first attack's too big, you can use it. But I always recommend using this first because it is um, the first battle or the second. And of course we run one dismal because it's just nice to keep uh, the sniping away from your rear guards. Um, if you don't know what dismal does, it's been in every other deck profile but I think but I will explain it really quickly so dark element dismal skill is resist it can't be retired from effects uh, when this unit is placed on guard choose one of your rear guards until end of turn that unit cannot be hit and and cannot be chosen by effects of your opponent's cards it's cards of all clans so why is this good actually dismal is gonna probably pop up in a lot more decks because of domination so your rear guard won't be able to be as dominated as much. Which is, again, silly. So, moving on to the actual G-Guards we run. Uh, we run two copies of Marine General of Heavenly Silk Lambros. Choose a copy of Lambros, turn it face up. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if it's the fourth battle of the turn or more, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to two of your rear guards, stand them, and then if the number of cards face up in your G-Zone is two or more, this unit, the units stand by this effect at plus 10k. So, Lambros is nice, cause, well, when it attacks, all your you get to stand two rear guards and give them a lot of power, which is always nice. You can make a easy 20k plus column, and that's not even counting the original attack power of the two units you stand. Moving on to Storm of Legitimate Willing Thias. This is the um. Generation Rare version, uh, GB3 for skill. When this uh, when this unit attacks, for each battle that a rear guard attacked this turn, during this turn, your opponent chooses a card from his or her rear guard and retires it. So this is good because the rear guards are known for getting off three to four attacks a turn. And its second auto skill is a GB2 third wave, counter blast one. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost if you do. Until end of turn, until end of battle, this unit gets plus 5k for each battle that a rear guard attacked during this turn, and your opponent cannot call grid ones from hand to guard. So, what's good about this is if you attack four to five times, you're getting plus 25k, and your opponent's removing five rear guards, so they're losing intercept ability. And it's cheap. We run two of him in the deck for you know just having two. Um, Storm Dominator Commander Thias' skill, we run two of him, is turn a copy of him face up in the G zone. Choose one of your rear guards until end of turn, it gets plus 5k in continuous. This unit can attack, um, choose up to one rear guard until end of turn gets 5k and it gets this skill which is this unit may attack from the back row and until end of turn this unit gets auto, fourth wave, GB3 when you're when your unit attacks a vanguard, choose three of your opponent's rear guards. Your opponent chooses one rear guard from among them and retire 
from all of them and retires it. So you're forcing your opponent to get rid of retires, which is nice in a knockable force deck because he's because they get to waste more on their skill. Next, we run two copies of Blue Wave General. Uh, Soul Blast one with Blue Wave in its name. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. Search for up to one Grade Three with Blue Wave in its name from among them. Place it on your Vanguard as Heart and Shuffle deck. If you place one or more cards, uh, if you place one or more cards, put all car heart cards other than the card placed due to this effect into the drop zone. So it means that if you stride and you get the stride you don't want, then you can always replace it with a better grade three stride. Um, next, we're running four copies, the most of one G unit thus far in the deck. Um, of Blue Wave, Martial Dragon, Tetra Boil Dragon. This is sort of the main stride you want to use in the deck once you unlock GB2. You counter blast one, choose a card face down named Blue Wave, Tetra Drive, Martial Dragon from your G zone. Turn it face up when this unit attacks a Vanguard. If you have a heart with Blue Wave in its name, you may pay the cost until end turn. If you do, until end turn, this unit gets minus one on drive and auto fourth wave only. Um, at the end of and at the end of the battle that this attack that your rearguard attacked a vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this unit. I want to make sure I read that right. Yeah, so essentially you get to stand this unit again, which is nice because you attack, triple drive, drop one, and you get a quadruple drive. Or I might be reading that long. It is pretty late right now. So moving on into the grade three section, this is your backup grade three, which is Blue Wave Dragon Anger Boil Dragon. Most people would run this as the main. It has a GB2 wave second turn only. Unless you attacks a Vanguard, this unit gets 5k until end of turn. Choose one rear guard, stand it, and it gets plus 10k. It also has a stride skill when it strives into Blue Wave Martial Tetra Boil Dragon. Choose one of your vanguards until end of turn it gets 3k in auto. Second turn only when this unit attacks a vanguard. Choose up to two of your rear guards, stand them, and it gets plus 4k. So these two cards combo. You give your vanguard second wave only, so it's the second attack of the turn. And this unit gets fourth wave. So it can restand. Actually, these cards really don't combo to the other. I may be reading them wrong. But they do work together in synergy, so um, I recommend giving them a test out. But this is the main grade three I like of the deck. It's a single rare, but it does it does a much better job in my opinion. Uh, it also is a strike card, so pick and choose your poison. Uh, blue wave general. Uh, when this when a G unit with blue ray and blue wave in its original card name strides, you choose up to one card from hand with blue wave in its card name. Call to regard with the uh, choose a rear guard with a blue wave in its card name and until end of turn that unit gets auto at the end of battle that this unit attacked a vanguard choose one of your opponent's other rear guards in the same column as this in exchange their positions um, next we're moving right over to wave hunt sailor third wave time or more this unit, when this unit attack hits a vanguard, counter charge, soul charge one. Uh, we're moving on to one of the more prominent cards in the deck that I like. I even recommend running it at its triple rare value, but most people, for cost wise, don't. If they, if you don't have a lot of money, it will save you some. There's about a ten cents difference, in all honesty. Uh, at the end of the battle, that this unit attacked a vanguard. You, if it was boosted during that battle, you may pay the cost. If you do. Stand this unit and it gets plus 2k. So that's good because that means you can activate way certain types of waves. And it's just a nice card to restand. Um, next card we run is Blue Wave Marine General. When this unit attacks a vanguard, if you have a vanguard with Blue Wave in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, it gets plus 2k. And at the end of, at the end of, of that battle, this unit gets to stand so again more standing that's sort of this deck's theme if you just can't tell we like to we like to stand we like to stand we like to stand so yeah that is the um theme is 
Stand, 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 stand. Um, I haven't made my point clear enough. Stand, 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 stand. Um, moving on to the next is Blue Wave Marine General Damis. I, again, can't ever pronounce half these units' names. Um, when you're Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard with Blue Wave and its card name attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose choose your Vanguard and your other Rear Guard, and those units get plus 2k apiece. So, this is nice, because you can attack with him, stand him back up, attack with your Tetraboil Vanguard, 2k to everything, him and her, or whatever that dragon is, and it's just giving power. So, moving on to the PGs, we have Ocean Keeper. It's your standard PG, uh, nullifies when you drop from hand, when it's placed on guard from hand, and uh, if there's a copy of him in the drop zone, you could choose a card in your damage zone and turn it face up. Um, stride Fodder, it doesn't really work with a blue wave deck. Its only use is the plus two to stride, but if you had a Thias grade three, you'd be able to search for it. Moving on to the next main grade three in the deck is Blue Wave Soldier Cannon. Uh, counter Blast, Soul Blast one apiece. When this is placed on rear, if you have two or more Blue Wave Vanguards in its original card name, you may pay the cost if you do. Choose one of choose one other unit, and that unit gets plus four K. And the number of hearts does count, so you can. So if you say you have him and you stride into this, then that counts as two hearts. Or that counts as two or more units with Blue Wave. Um, we're also running one Bright Shooter. Uh, Blue Wave Soldier Bright Shooter. Um, at the end of battle that this unit boosted, if you have a Vanguard with Blue Wave in its card name, choose a Grade 3 from hand. Or choose a Grade 3 from your drop zone and put it to hand. A uh, nice Stride Recycler. So you can drop a grade 3 to stride and not have to worry about losing out on it. We do only run one. Um, yeah, I do. I keep forgetting to mention the number, but four Ocean Keepers, four Stride Fathers, three um, Blue Wave uh, Cinnamons, and we're running the last grade one on the deck is two Blue Wave Dragons, Submarine Dragons. A little redundant, but if you have a heart with, if you have two or more cards with Blue Wave in its car original card name on your Vanguard. This unit can attack from the back row. Again, it's good because some units like this that don't need to be boosted or this that gives support, having two of these in your back row can really change the game. One behind your Vanguard, one behind this. And then having a booster like this actually really makes a fearsome formation because you're just giving stuff power throughout the entire game and pressuring your opponent to use up cards. Um, we'll start off with the starter unit, which is always a good one. Blue Wave Recruit Elphys, um, Forerunner, put this unit into soul. When you have a Vanguard with a Blue Wave and its card name attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose a Rear Guard, stand it, and it gets plus 2k. Again, everything attacks, so you could attack with this from the back row. Now you stand it, give it 2k, it's now 9. S these skills go off, give things 10k, give them 5k. I... Uh, or you could just use Battle Siren if you have a handful of these. Put it to Soul and give a unit 3k. You can just quite literally give stuff power in the game. It is good. I There's really no read for stand triggers in this deck because everything's already standing one way or another. We are running Blue Wave Soldier Brutal Trooper. Um, put this unit on top of your deck. If you have a Vanguard with Blue Wave in its card name, choose one of your Vanguards until end of turn it gets auto second wave or more when this unit attacks a vanguard draw a card and then you shuffle deck so recycling your triggers um if just in case i haven't made myself clear everything uses some form of resource soul blast counter blast or is just evil and wants to stand up again and make your opponent's life miserable which is what i like about this deck build like i said i really don't have a lot of experience with aqua force so i just threw everything i could find out about standing into the deck next is Supersonic Sailor. Put this unit to soul. If you have an Aqua Force Vanguard, choose a, choose a card in your damage zone, turn it face up. Just in case your Ocean Keepers run out or you're not getting them, you still have more undamaged flippers. The deck is good. It's expensive, but good. And last but not least, we're running four Vanilla Heels Batters, Battle Siren. And that is the deck in a nutshell. 
Um, like I said, play around with it. I always use Tabletop Simulator to show off the decks because I'm poor and I can't afford $300 decks every week. But I don't mind keep building $300 decks in theory. And now, as always, we're going to hop on over to the price of the deck, which should be, where's the straw poll right here. So again, guys, quick little thing before we move on to the price. Check out my straw poll. Tell me what you want to see more of. Um, I thought about adding bleach to the list and just drinking it, but uh, my girlfriend slapped me and told me now. So, um, yeah, vote on what you want to see. We have Paladins, Minecraft, Pokemon, Pokemon TCG, Oblivion on Xbox One. Working on setting that up. Um, Call of Duty, I have... I have a lot of those games on Xbox One or Thief. If you want to see me live stream more often, just comment down below and look out for my next drop hole. Okay guys, so as you know, we're back here in the cart, as always, crushing your dreams. So I went through the deck, obviously, and I looked up every card in the deck, as you can tell by the order size 66 cards, which is what the deck is comprised of, the main deck and its G-Zone. Currently its price is $290. Oh, two ninety and nine cents plus two, two ninety three shipping and handling, so it equals a nice ninety three oh two. But we're nowhere near done. I almost clicked checkout. That would have been very bad. I'm very poor. So we're gonna click optimized cart. So I always use TCG Player as a nice base. I look at a few other websites like Core TCG and Ideal 08 or Battle Universe or some other thing like that. Battle Universe is a TV show. But obviously by just going to optimize in the cart we can easily cut down the price to four dollars shipping and handling and only two seventy five to get a nice firm price of two eighty sixty four so the deck is good and it's not a bad price if you have the extra two hundred and you want to build aqua force i wouldn't say it's the greatest deck there are other things better and that are coming out keep Keep a lookout for those types of things. Uh, new Batama, buy your new Batama stuff now while it's still fairly cheap. You got about two months before the new trial deck and booster box hits. And once those come out, you guys are going to be wishing you had bought those cards sooner rather than later like I am. But until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what clan I should do next down in the description below. I like to do these videos because I get to learn a little bit more about each clan. And tell me also what you want to see. I have an idea about maybe doing a... A timeline theory on Vanguard but it was really a big mess and I'm sort of revising my script right now to see if I can make it any cleaner or better but guys I will see you all later I've been the Silver Wolf peace